Hi friends, it's Mrs. Gobranson. I am here to talk to you guys about your writing journal. So if you have your binder, you should have your writing journal. Looks like this. Mine says written and illustrated by Mrs. Gobranson because this is mine. Um, this is where I put my first writing, which I'm not done with yet. I haven't covered it yet. And I have my writing from when I read the um, Bruce's Big Storm. So we'll share, I'll share that too. But before I share my writing, what I want to do is I want to talk about our writing checklist. And the checklist is at the bottom of the page. And the reason that it's there is so that we make sure that we have all of the things that we need in our writing. So the first thing and the most important thing that you need to remember is that you have to put your name on it. You have to put your name and date. Now, I am asking that you not only put your first name, but you put your last name as well. And remember that the first letter in your name is a capital letter and the all the other letters in your name are lowercase. Okay, so name and remember and sign date. That's the first thing that you have to remember. Now, not only do you have to remember to use your, or to write your name and date, but you need to remember to write your name and date with a pencil, exactly. Why? Well, sometimes we make a mistake. Sometimes we write the wrong date, we write the wrong letter for our name. So we wanna be able to erase it. <clears throat> okay, number two, our next checkbox says, if I'm done with my name and my date, I get to go and I get to create my picture. Okay, so on your paper you have a little box that looks like this and you get to create your picture. So I'm gonna create my picture right now. Now for this poster, I am using a marker, but if I were doing this on my paper, guess what I would be using? A pencil, exactly. That's what we want to use in case we make a mistake. I make mistakes on my pictures all the time and have to erase. So here's uh, my picture. Okay. Now once your picture is done, so you've got your name and date with a pencil, picture with a pencil, you need to put labels on your picture. One time somebody said, why do we have to put labels on our picture, Mrs. Gobranson? And I was like, well, the reason is, is that when you draw a picture, sometimes it can look like something else. For example, I did um, a drawing on the board the other day, a few weeks ago in class, um, where people or all of our friends thought it was a fox, and some kids thought, oh, I was drawing a cat. And I happened to be drawing a dog, so just because I know what it is doesn't mean that everybody else knows what it is. So we need to make sure that we put labels. So in my picture right here, I'm actually going to put little labels. So this is a tree. Tree. And just sound out the best you can. This is me. And this is the sun. And I'm going to put that actually right inside the sun. Now, with your labels, what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you have at least three on your paper, okay? So three things on your paper have to have labels. If you can do more, that would be wonderful. All right, well, my name and date is there, my picture's done, my label's done. Guess what I do my labels with? You got it. Pencil. Making sure I'm using that pencil in case I make a mistake and then I can fix it. All right, after my labels are done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my sentence. Now that's the last piece that's going to really pull my writing together, the writing piece of it. Sentence. Um, anyways, so we're going to put, um, I'm going to put, What's my sentence going to be for this? Sorry, I was thinking. Go through thinking pauses sometimes, okay? 
So I was thinking about the sentence I was going to put. So my sentence is on lines that look like this, right? Okay. And I'm going to write it was sunny. I'll just extend my line there, put a stop dot or a period to show that I'm done with my sentence. It was sunny. Guess what I'm going to write my sentence with? Pencil. Got to keep that pencil going. You got to use that pencil just in case you make a mistake. If I were using pencil, I would probably erase this sentence and rewrite it because there's not a finger space in between these. And I should really be practicing my finger spacing. Now, in class, we have our spacer man, but in uh, but right now we don't have that tool available to us. So since we don't have it, we can just use a one or two finger space between our words. Okay. So my writing checklist so far: name and date with a pencil, picture with a pencil, labels with a pencil, sentence with a pencil. Once you're done with that, that's where you get, this is, this is where your writing is. This is where I see what you know. I can see that your picture matches what your sentence says. I can see you sounding out your words and you're showing me what you're learning. You're showing me the words and the sounds that you know. And I'm looking for all of those high frequency words or those sight words, those heart words to be in your sentences and spelled correctly, especially since you have them in your binder. And then, once all of these pieces are done, these four pieces that aren't going to take too long, I want you to come to your very last checkbox. And this is where I want you to get creative, okay, guys? I want four, four, you got it, more. Colors. Okay. I like to do this all colorful because it helps to remind me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of this and I'm going to post it so that you guys have a picture of it. And maybe your moms or dads can show you on their phones or on your devices. Okay. Four or more. So you can have six colors, seven colors, eight colors, nine colors, 10 colors, 50 colors, that's fine. But you have to have at least four to make your illustration really vibrant and really exciting to look at. Because you remember, you are the author, you are the illustrator of this, okay? So I wanted to show you guys what I did. So yesterday or the other day, I read you guys, um, Bruce's Big Storm. Um, let me see here, just one second. Oh, here, I'm going to grab it. And in this story, sorry about that. In this story, Bruce's Big Storm, I actually asked you guys to write about how are you, or they, sorry. They are, the whole bunch of neighbors go to Bruce's house to stay safe from the storm. But what happens is Bruce's house gets kind of smashed. And, um, you know, Bruce, he's grumpy. So he didn't want the neighbors to be there. He didn't know, you know, what to do. So the neighbors ended up coming back and helping him. And that was super kind. So I asked you guys to write about something that you guys do to help your neighbors or to help your community. And so I wrote in my journal. And I started writing um with a pencil and it's kind of hard to see the my pencil writing on the camera here so i did start to trace over it with a teaching pen okay so i wrote my first and last name and my date do i have that my first thing with my pencil yes check perfect okay now next is my picture i did my picture right there you can see it guess what i did it with pencil perfect okay Next, after I did my picture, I went through and I put labels on things. 
I put one, two, three, four, five, six labels. So I have six labels on my writing here. So I know you guys can do that. After I did my labels with a pencil, I did my sentence. And um, I actually started my sentence, but I haven't finished it yet. And that's okay. I didn't have enough time to finish my sentence today, but I can work on it tomorrow or I can work on it the next time that I do writing. Maybe I'll do some more writing later today. But I started and I said, I pick up garbage. And I, what I wanted to say is I wanted to say I pick up garbage and litter off the sidewalk. Because sometimes I go around my in my community and I pick up um, the garbage or the litter that was left out. Sometimes it's thrown out of a car window. And I just want to make sure that my community stays nice and clean. So I go around and I do that around here. So that's what I do. Now, I haven't colored my picture yet because I'm not done. I'm not done with my sentence. Um, if you are working on these and you're working on your sentence piece and you're thinking, boy, Mrs. Bill Branson, I'm getting really good at writing one sentence, I want you to try to give me two sentences. And if you were already working on two sentences, because some of my friends were, then I want you to be trying to do more than that. Maybe write me a little bit of a story. One day I went to the beach. On the beach, I found three seashells. The seashells were blue, pink, and white. Write me a story that tells me about it. Tell me how you were feeling. How were you feeling when you found those seashells? That would be wonderful. I'm excited to hear from all of you, and I thank you for watching. And uh, let me know if there's anything you guys need. Talk to you later. Bye.